this is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back it is a wonderful positive energies and um, with the energy of um, this month of July you have a positive energy because the month of July is the energy of the hair offense so in the month of July you're going to be dealing with organization but you have the energy of the wheel of fortune and this is wonderful and very much positive okay energy of the wheel of fortune is a wonderful um, experience and a wonderful situation so um, <clears throat> what we need to do and what we need to transpire is that we need to use the energy of the wheel of fortune to make things happen for us so um, the two first weeks is going to be water and the two second weeks is going to be um, the two the second weeks are going to be um, what you call it um, um, fire I'm sorry so let's go there's just uh, someone just come in and um, it just break my energy vibration so let's look and see what is happening for you guys in the first week what do we have in the first week the first week we have the three of swords or break the second week we have the energy of the ten of ones and to a burden and the third week we have the hermit and the fourth week we have the knight of Pentacles okay so let's look and see basically what is happening um, basically what is happening so heartbreak in the first week the second weeks we have um, the burden and the third week we have the energy of the hermit we have in the last week the nine of Pentacles okay so what is happening here what is transpiring here we are going to be looking to see what exactly is transpiring in our lives and see how can we make changes in our lives and that sort of a thing so um, let's see the three of heart and the ten of pen uh, ten of ones the page of ones okay so obviously there is a message um, that um, after this art break uh, and this ten of ones there's a message that is coming in okay so let's see from the second week going in the third week what is going to be this message an offer there is going to be an offer coming up and this is going to be good so um, in the end of Jul June coming in July there was a loss there was a heartbreak and a loss there was a burden that you had to carry there was a situation where you have to look within and it has to do with the Knight of Pentacles whoever this Knight of Pentacles is which it could be you people between the ages of um, 25 and 45 so for you guys there is going to be a loss whatever the loss is um, you're going to be receiving that like the end of June coming in the first week of July what is here the night of ones okay so you have um, you have an energy where the page of ones is here and there's an offer that is coming in and this is uh, is coming in from the night of ones okay who is this night of ones this is someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius okay so a message uh, where the offer is going to come in to someone who come from someone who is an um and here is leo or a sagittarius so let's see what else is um going to happen what is this news and what is this offer all about this offer is about working together this offer is about a decision that you need to make okay so there was a burden and um, whatever the burden was uh, this um, news is coming in of an offer and you need to make a decision whether or not you want to take this offer or not okay as we move forward and we look at this offer that is coming from this knight of wands uh, there is a queen of cups that is here okay so our offer is coming from the Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Cups actually have a situation with the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Now, be aware of these people because um, a new start, a new journey. 
a new start and a new journey. So for you guys, there is going to be a new start and a new journey that is going to be coming up. And this is going to be wonderful and very exciting and very positive because what is going to transpire here is that with this new offer, because I'm seeing a lot of situation that is around the King of Swords, whoever this King of Swords is, uh, you guys are going to be dealing with a lot of people. And these are all karmatic things. And especially they are coming in in the last week. The last week is where you people between the ages of 25 and 45 have to deal with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in the same age group and have to deal with an older man that is the king of swords that is in this um, also this group. And then you have the queen of cups and um, whoever this queen of cups is, is going on a new start. She's, she's going to, um, begin a new journey. She's going on a new journey, whatever that is. Now the, um, there is an offer, there is a decision that is going to be made over this queen of cups. Uh, whatever the decision the offer that is going to be made over this queen of cups, there is a new start that is going to be happening. So, you know, be aware, um, you um, Virgos, be aware of uh, whoever this uh, this um, King of Swords is, because I'm not really liking him, um, you know, because he and the Knight of Wands, these two people, the Knight of Wands is someone between the ages of 25. Be aware, if there are people working in your apartment building and that sort of a thing, all these people seems to be, I in is in a group, you know, all these th people is in a, a sort of a group. They're not really nice people. So keep away from them. Um, you Virgos, whoever they are, it's just as if they're in a group. They're either working against you or try to work to, uh, against you because there's an art break coming in. There's a message of you may need to make a chance, a, a choice uh, with a new journey. Okay. There is a, a sort of a, um, it's as if, um, a sort of a situation. So let's look and see what is in the underlying. Um, the stability. Um, in the past there was um a block to say, and it can be with your work. Okay, it can be with your work, but in the middle of the month, this is going to be coming to an end, and um. There's some luck coming in. There is some luck coming in. And there is a message that is coming also in. As we move forward, whatever um, the situation was in the past, in the future, there is the blockage are going to be moving up with an organization or that sort of a thing. Okay. And. <clears throat> The energy of you being the star coming out on top is good. And this has to be um, with you. You come out to be the star because the energy of the star is that you make this decision, um, whatever is happening. Because I'm seeing um, in the past, there was a lot of people who were working against you. Whatever the situation is, they were working against you. And, um, you know, I think um, a celebration, good repetition, and great happiness, okay, for whatever that has been happening and that sort of a thing. So um, whatever that was happening is that people were working against you, and now people are realizing um, basically how um, who you are as a person and what the journeys you are on, and that you are basically um, helping out other people as you go by. In the past, your stability, and this is good, this is what, because we're looking at it in the diagonal form. Um, the, you know, you had a strong foundation in um, that is going to be coming up, okay? So um, you have a very strong foundation of what is going to be coming up because you have, um, you know, stable. You have stable. You are having um, stable. But what I'm, what I'm saying and what I'm seeing and what I'm, feeling is that some of you are dealing with someone at your workplace because all these situations is basically um have to do with someone at your workplace okay celebration job when well done um is someone at your workplace or somewhere where you live be aware of the people because it's as if 
they have been trying to do something but achievement hopes and dreams so there is a lot of achievement that is going to be coming in there's a lot of hope and dreams um, the energy of uh, happiness and joy is going to be coming in because you have an offer in the general reading and in um, the mirror reading because you I'm doing the mirror reading and the general reading in the mirror reading and the general reading what is happening and what is transpiring is that there's an offer a surprising offer that is going to be coming in and this is going to be very very positive there is going to be a very surprising offer that is coming in and it's going to be coming in in a very very um, a positive way where people are going to be basically um, where people are basically going to um, see um, um, this because um, this offer is coming in from an organization so um, this is in a very very positive way okay I basically like to see this it could be an offer um, a memorial that is coming up because I'm seeing the energy of the cross some of you could be receiving a message a memorial um, some of you could be receiving the message of a debt um, in the family and it this could be um, uh, uh, yeah uh, it's always um, a debt you see improvements relief there's a lot of improvements relief happy destiny um, is coming in and this is this is actually um, very good because um, sometimes the energy of the debt and the cross with a message coming in but this message that is coming in is an invitation happy news good invitation is coming in and this is going to be wonderful okay so um, whatever the situation is whatever that is transpiring in your life um, the outcomes is a new um, uh, the outcomes is uh, um, positive um, there is new light in a situation um, it's going to be a positive outcomes to whatever that is transpiring and whatever that is happening in your life so I you know I'm 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 you know happy about whatever um, that has transpired because you are going to be seeing wonderful positive energies that is coming in and with these um, um, positive energies I'm sorry I just need to take the pictures so I can have them for you guys later um, you women some of you women are going to be having a situation with a king of swords okay some of you women are going to be having a situation with the king of swords now that is an Aquarius um, that is an Aquarius Gemini or Libran um, who is over the age of 40 some of you ladies are going to be having a situation with him I can say to you and I will say to you um, whatever has happened and whatever has transpired walk away from the situation it's not very healthy um, you don't need to be um, you know dwelling in this situation basically just walk away from the situation um, you know sometimes when these things happen it is best for you to just walk away because uh, it is as if there is no um, uh, you know whatever the situation that is going to be happening you don't need to be dealing with the situation walk away from the situation because obviously um, this is an unhealthy situation okay so um, this reading is um, a positive reading because uh, um, a lot of things a lot of burdens a lot of situation that you have been um, bringing from the past in the future um, you are seeing a new positive 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 um, um, outset with this situation you're seeing a new positive situation that is happening and a new positive situation that is going to be transparent okay so I want to say to you ladies and gentlemen be aware of what is happening understand and know where you are um, at this time now I'm using the energy of the crystal cards and the energy of the crystal cards is wonderful you have the energy of tapas and it says forgiveness and healing um, tapas is a, a crystal because this is the energy of all the crystals all the um, crystals in element mentor um, that is what is coming in and it says time to release repress anger so it's time for you to release all the repressed anger that you have been holding 
as it is blocking your health and your happiness because sometimes people do us things and we have this really repressed anger within us and that sort of a thing and now you need to understand that that by releasing and asking forgiveness for what people have done to you, you release the energy of that hunger and you receive positive energies. And sometimes when I'm hungry, I will go and do my readings um, because it, um, it's, it's as if it heals me while I'm doing this for you guys. So I basically um, call upon the angels to help me to release the anger and to let go. And to help me to focus on something else that can help humanity and for you know like you guys who does do this sort of a thing and you have so many anger you have to think about it um, think about the person um, you know how long was this happiness and joy that they did you know how long was that happiness and joy that they did that they felt so good and that sort of a thing it wasn't long we said okay just let them have it it was five minutes you know as if you know it's not something that they can value the rest of their life and that sort of a thing so here we are and here we're looking at the situation here we are uh, we're, we're understanding um, where we are on uh, certain journeys in our life and we are basically accepting um, whatever is coming at us at this moment and it's going to be good so not to worry about it I want to say to each and every person um, it's going to be because it's um, it, it, it's 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 a situation where you have to learn to forgive. It's a it's a month where you need to to learn to forgive whatever the situation is. You just need to learn to forgive. Forgive is um, the biggest thing. You need to you know just forgive the people in your life. Okay. And um, what you're going to be understanding is that uh, um, you are going to be coming out on top. Forgiveness is the key, as we always say. Um, we need to learn to um, forgive people, forgive them for, you know, whatever the, the situation, whatever they have done. Um, we need to forgive them. I want to say to you, um, um, take in this forgiveness and this healing, and you are going to understand that life is about to change for you. Namaste until next time.